In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome to Catholic Television Network. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly consider subscribing and click the notification bell for weekly updates. Christ the Kingdom come. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we mark in a special way the Good Friday, a day that Jesus was crucified on the cross for our sins and for our salvation. On the wood of the cross lies our identity and our life. The cross which to unbelievers is foolishness, for us it is the source of our being. From the cross Jesus saved the world from eternal damnation. As we make a solemn procession today in remembrance of the pain and agony that the Son of Man went through for three hours, we place our agony and pains in the hands of He who turned the cross from a symbol of punishment to a symbol of our salvation. From the moment of incarnation, the life of Jesus was directed towards this ideal moment which marked the turning point in the history of salvation. The evangelist gives us a disturbing reality of the suffering he had to endure. The executioners, we are told, stretched him out on the ground and began nailing him to the wood of the cross. The evangelist continued to explain this vivid and horrific experience when they placed the large nails into his palms, piercing his flesh. They then hoisted him up after piercing his legs too with long nails. They hoisted him as he hung on the cross straight from the vertical shaft of the wood. This horrific scene lasts for three hours as blood oozes out of his flogged and pierced body. Dying on the cross was a capital punishment which guaranteed a gradual but extremely painful death. Jesus has been waiting for this moment to redeem all men from the shackles of death. He turns the cross, a symbol of dishonor, into a sign of life and a stairway of glory. Today we venerate the cross as one of compulsory and emotional moment of our liturgy. In remembrance of this special moment when Jesus had to suffer on the cross for our sins, though he was innocent himself. Many shed tears as they venerate the cross in honor of our Lord who did not spare himself but chose to suffer and die for us out of love. Today is an important occasion for all those who believe in Christ. Today's event has inspired millions in over 2,000 years ago. Many have even chose the way of martyrdom for the sake of the kingdom of God. The triumph of the cross brings hope to the world. It is on this victory that the church introduced a feast of exaltation of the cross on 14th of September every year to make the faithful understand fully the power of the cross. Today we witness Jesus being raised on the cross and he is surrounded by distressing reality where passerbys jeer him and the chief priest throws scathing and sarcastic attacks on him. Jesus, on the other hand, does not try to reproach them. Instead, he demonstrates a lot of pity and compassion on his executioners. 
he is given bitter drink. St. Augustine says that Jesus had to go through all the suffering as a price for our ransom. Through the crucifixion of Jesus, our redemption is accomplished. Crucifixion was the most cruel and insulting form of execution which was known in ancient times. It meant a prolonged agony and this was made even more painful when the executioners hastened your death by breaking the legs of those who were crucified. This cruel form of punishment was only for Jews, since a Roman citizen could not be crucified. The cross, as St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 23, it is a scandal for the Jews and a folly to the Gentiles. But for us who believe in Jesus, the cross is the power of God. It is the fountain of our salvation. May the crucified Lord give us courage to face every trial in our daily lives. Let us therefore share the unconditional love of Jesus with the poor and the needy as we offer ourselves totally even to the sacrifice of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.